As Middle Tennessee is on the rise, entrepreneurs are getting the opportunity to thrive with their businesses. And one business that has seen numerous success stories, food trucks. News Channel 5 Jessica Newton spoke to one food truck owner who's opening his own restaurant thanks to the food truck success. It's been a dream come true to finally get to this point. For Dallas Shaw, this has been a long time coming. He launched Haas's loaded burgers out of a truck in 2011. Food trucks were brand new. Now he's finally accomplished a dream, opening a brick and mortar restaurant to serve his burgers. Our specialty uh, at Haas Burgers is a Juicy Lucy style burger to where the cheese is on the inside. It's a little pocket of cheeses. It's Shaw's first non-moving location, and he chose this location for a reason. Nolansville is booming with more people moving in every day, including right next to Haas's. There are 200 three-story homes being built on property that can walk to the restaurant. And when they get there, they'll not only get to choose from the burger options, but from more options than ever before. Thanks to the larger kitchen and the ability to store more ingredients, they're adding onion rings, loaded fries, a loaded baked potato salad, and even frozen custard to the menu. We're one of three places you can actually get real frozen custard. While it's an exciting step forward, looking back has provided even more satisfaction for Shaw, seeing where this all started and what it's turned into. It was me and, and one other employee and my wife who worked you know, a couple times trying to help on the truck. And it's a story many others have experienced in Nashville. As the city grew, more people searched for food options, and food trucks were there. As they saw success, many started opening permanent restaurants, just like Shaw has done here. Whereas the food trucks convenient because we're going to people, it's convenient here because they know we're always going to be open when we say we will. In the long run, he hopes to open numerous other locations, but for now, he's happy to employ 15 team members to help feed the people of Nolansville. Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5. The restaurant is open for dinner every weeknight and it's open for lunch and dinner on the weekends.